yo what's going on you guys welcome back to another video on the channel today bringing you guys another high rated db video we have carlos with 773 rating versus the goat we have to cook the goat tonight all right i need to chill um but we are going to see what are we gonna see we're gonna see carlos win the rock paper scissors decide to go first open up edge chain opening branded fusion branded fusion prosperity nesh opens up retribution albion quem lubelion quem Okay, little branded mirror starts in the draw phase with opening discard chain, search for Alubur, and then good luck, have fun in the chat. Nesh with the no reply. Ah, that's tough. So search for patchwork and branded fusion, of course, has all three branded fusion in hand hilariously. Uh pot of prosperity for three there. See Super Poly Big Wing. Oh, he's always playing the uh Chimera. So it's Chimera versus like pair branded or synchro branded one of the two so put back super poly and prosperity i don't know bro against nesh might be grabbing that super poly you know what i'm saying um but this way you don't have to because you could just normal summon this and get to your you know illusionist chimera engine that way and then just use brand infusion to make mirror jade uh but he's gonna go brand infusion up next oh he's making dragoon Okay, playing the Dark Magician in there as well. So go for Lubelion, discard Brand Infusion, put back Dark Magician, Albaz, and make the Red Eyes Dark Dragoon, and then tribute summon over the Alibur for Big Wing. Effect to search for two cards. So grab Chimera Fusion and Gazelle, of course. And then Harden is Goat, enters the chat. James Harden is the Goat, bro. I mean, if that's James Harden, then for sure. Wait, Patchwork, search. Yeah, he didn't do that yet. So Patchwork, search for Edge Imp Chain. And Polly, then go Chimera Fusion up into Chimera the King. Chainlink 1 Gazelle, Chainlink 2 that guy. Not gonna go Chainlink 3 because you cannot. Did not go through Sword Knight here yet. So Cornfield probably gonna grab the Sword Knight here now. Yep, so go grab Sword Knight, then go Polly, Sword Knight, and that guy into Magnum. Yeah, Magnum the Reliever. And then he can go, he said Brilliant Anded Fusion. So, Branded Fusion. Yeah, he said, I don't know where my computer corrected there. Yeah, that was crazy. So, put back the Branded Fusion. um, And then draw one. Okay. So, draw. Draw a big wing. Chimera Fusion. Add itself back. And then just set one. Go to the end phase. Hit the Shrouded Dragon. So, Shrouded Dragon. And then Nest draws High Spirits for turn. He's going to go main phase one. Activate the Vistu Lubelion. He says that that's fine. No response to that. So go grab Soranir there. And then Soranir effect. Target the mirror sword to banish it out of graveyard. Um, See what he decides to do. He says that's good. No response to that. So banish the mirror sword out of the graveyard. Very good hit. Um, Let's see. He said end main. So he's trying to go battle phase here. He's going to go battle phase. Beat over the Magnum the Reliever. And then go main phase two, tribute off the Saronir to summon out Lubelion, and that Saronir effect to go dump. Uh, then he's going to go base to Lubelion effect to place Branded Beast face up, then tribute, target. He's going to Cornfield negate and destroy that. Cornfield negates and destroys. So that is definitely something to remember. The Mirror Sword Knight just negates effect. This card actually negates and destroys, which is kind of crazy. Uh, so if you can, you know, use this on a Fenrir before they get the search or something it could be pretty pretty nice you know came up for me not too long ago he's gonna go quem normal summon quem use the effect oh uh, okay uh that's gonna dump albaz then he's gonna go high spirits he says think says that that's good so discard the quem dump the grand goil search for blazing cartesia and then he's gonna go quem effect because the card left the extra deck so he's gonna target the albaz try to reborn it this way, he will be able to discard the Retribution and get access to Brain Infusion even after this gets negated because it has to get negated. Uh, so he's going to go Chimera Fusion for three up in the Guardian Chimera. So Albaz, he's not even going to use the effect, but he's going to go Guardian Chimera here to draw two, pop one, pop the Albaz. He's going to go Blazing Cartesia effect to summon itself. Uh, I guess he knows he has this, but Brandon doesn't really make a level eight synchro so it's whatever in that case um but he's going to go effect oh discard from hand i forgot it can do that the secret effect i haven't played pure branded in so long so he's going to be able to special summon this and he has a synchro 12 if he wants to 
So summon it out. And he has also has branded fusion now, which is really nice. He is in main phase two though. He's gonna go blazing cartesia effective fusion. This is Albaz. This came to fall Albaz while on the field or a graveyard. So this is Albaz. This can be a, a you know Albaz fusion here. Um he's gonna say that that's good. So he's letting it go. Uh Nesh is thinking here on what to make. Um he's gonna fuse those two up into the Grangoil, use Grangoil effect to go dump Titanoclad, then Retribution, Banish to add back Brain Infusion. Okay. And then he's going to activate the Brain Infusion. Yes. And then Dragoon, Negate, discard the Edge Imp Chain. Then he can get Edge Imp Chain effect. So... Ooh. There's no way you only play one, right? Like, there's absolutely no way. Maybe. Maybe not. I don't know. You guys let me know. Um, but end phase, blazing add back, titanoclad effect, summon or add. Wait, what? So he's going to go Chimera the King, banish itself to target Magnum the Reliever to summon. Okay, so summon it out. And then if he goes... Or I guess he chained it to that. Summon Albaz. Um, Albaz effect, because he did not use the effect. And then he could just go Magnum the Reliever. Because he didn't use that this turn, right? He can just go Magnum the Reliever, Banish Poly or something. Or Brain Infusion. Just Banish Brain Infusion, pop it. Uh, so he's just going to pop it. Um, so yeah, I don't know if that was in Chain. So if it was like Chain Link, if this was Chain Link 1 and then the Chimera King was Chain Link 2, um, it would summon and then he can go like 1, 2 with this. So it would be chain blocked, but he can still pop it anyway. Like it doesn't matter really chain blocking it like that. Uh, so yeah, that's fine. So he's going to go main phase one. He's going to go Dragoon, target Grangoil, pop it, burn. Uh, he said, did you use Dark Magician? He did. I uh, just showed him it real quick. And then Nesh does just end up committing defeat there. He doesn't even have to do anything. Just switch to everything to attack, go battle. Uh, but going on into game number two, we're going to see Carlos open up DD Crow opening, Albaz, Gazelle, Ash Blossom. Pretty, pretty good. Opponent opens up Spriggan's Kit, Albaz, Retribution, Misty, Lubelion, High Spirits. This is way worse. Um, so he's going to go Lubelion for Sornir. I mean, it's not way worse. Let me chill. It's not way worse, but opening the trap. Obviously, you don't want to open this. Opening this is mid. Opening this is also mid. Um, but I mean, it works. It's just not the best, you know. Uh, but he's going to go uh, High Spirits. He's going to discard the Albaz, dump to Tentaclad, search Quem. Okay. And then he's going to normal summon the Quem, use the effect. He has a Bistial, so probably Mercurier. So yeah, dump Mercurier. Then Seronier effect, banish it, summon. That's good. 1,000 thoughts back again. So summon and then Mercurier effect to search. That's going to grab Blazing. And then he's going to go Blazing effect to summon. Albaz is in Graveyard. That's what he discarded for High Spirits. And then Synchro and then Dispeter. And then he's going to get Quem Effect Chain Link 1, Seronier Chain Link 2. So target the Blazing, summon it out, and then dump Bistial Aluber. And then Spriggan's Kit Effect to summon because this is in the graveyard. And then Effect to go grab Branded and White and then put back Retribution, then activate the Branded and White. He says, hmm, he's going to go ahead and crow the Albaz here. Or I guess, yeah, target the Albaz, crow it. He says thinking, he banished it, so I guess that's good. Uh, he's just going to banish the Bistu Albur because that is also Albaz. So he's going to banish that and send Quem to the, not Quem, Blazing Cartesia to the graveyard, then make Albion. And then he can get Albion effect. Albion effect, maybe just making the Boral. I don't know what he's going to make. He's going to banish both of those to make Grangoil. Okay, yeah, Grangoil effect. He says thinking. He says uh, that's good. That's going to dump the Bistool Lubelion, a second copy. So, res anything here. He's going to go Dispatter, summon back Sornier. He can go for a lot, actually. He can go for... Oh, another Synchro. Yeah, Barone. Oh, my God. And then Tribute off to summon... Bistial Lubelion, Bistial Lubelion effect. Two place Brandon regain face up and then link those two in the seal. And then he just says end main one. I will pass my turn. End phase Albion effect is going to search for Albaz and then 
Titanoclad. He's thinking on that. He's going to floor negate that. And then probably just tag out into Dispatter. Oh, wait, no, he can't because Dispatter is, this is only level 9 or lower. So he can't go for Dispatter. So he's going to set Branded in red and then pass turn. Standby phase. He's going to try to admit defeat. All right, so going on into game number three here, we're going to see Carlos go first as he opens up Branded Fusion, DD Crow, Gazelle, Chimera Fusion, Patchwork. That's a hand of all time. I like opening this card. It like helps dodge stuff like Imperm, Valor, obviously targeting negation. This helps a lot. So I really like this opening this card um, along with other playable. Of course, you got to open other playable. You know, this is just nice to have a little dodged, a little quick dodge. Uh, opponent opens up Brandon Fusion, Thrust, Regain, Mercurial, Albaz. So he's going to start with Patchwork, search for the Poly and the Chain. Okay, the Normal Summon Gazelle. He's allergic to the Burfament line, or not the Burfament line, the Rinbrum line. Uh, Chimera Fusion, go for Chimera the King, effects, Gazelle 1, King 2. So maybe he does only just play the one patchwork, okay. Because that's the second time he didn't search off Ed Gym Chain. So maybe only plays the one patchwork. Um, he's going to go Cornfield up next. Cornfield, search for Sword Knight. And then he's going to go Chimera Fusion, add itself back. And then Branded Fusion for Albaz Mirror Sword into Albion, and then Albion effect here, banish itself plus Albaz. Wait, what? He's trying to go for Sword Knight somehow. All right, I'm gonna let him cook. So put back Albion and Albaz to make Mirror Jade. Oh, he's gonna make Magnum the Reliever and then bring Sword Knight back. Okay, and then Polly into Magnum the Reliever, and then Big Wing Effects, summon back Mirror Sword, then Magnum the Reliever can put back Brain Infusion, draw one, draw on a Droll, end phase. Um, he's going to hit the Fawn of Albaz out of hand, pass, they draw Duster. Uh, draw phase, he's going to go Mirror Sword for Burfamit, and then Effect. I mean, you could have just done this last turn. Um, playing in a Thrust, but it's whatever. So go grab Chimera Fusion and Gazelle. And then main phase one, he's going to activate Harpy's Feather Duster. And he's going to chain it, fusing the Chimera, the Phantom Beast, and the Birth of it to make another Chimera, the Phantom Beast. Effect chain link one, nothing else. Regain, Branded Fusion, response, no response. So go crazy. He's going to dump Albaz. And then thinking on the other send, it's going to be Sornir. Uh, that's going to make Titanoclad, and then he's going to get Sornir Effect to dump Bissilu Belly on, and then Crow it. Uh, oh my god, I'm on fast forward. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. We got to go back to the log, we got to go back to the log. So he went, sent Bissilu Belly on from deck to grave, and then he DD Crowed it, and then he banished the Belly on, then declared the effect of regain, and then he chained the Magnum the Reliever, banishing the Poly, and targeted the regain. Okay, so he's going to chain Mercurial to negate that. Okay, so put back, draw, draw into Quem, then drop Droll, which is going to be pretty strong. Yeah, because he has the thrust. Um, it says big think here, no prob. It's gonna, just going to go battle phase, try to beat over the Mirror Jade. He's um, going to Mirror Jade, but this is unaffected. Gains attack equal to the combined. Original levels of all monsters in the field. After the fusion summon for the rest of the turns, unaffected by the activated effects of any other monster special summon from the extra deck. So it's negated. Or not negated, but it's not going to be able to banish. Um, so he says that's good. He said attempt on Titanoclad. Okay, so he was just doing it for the, you know, send the Albion. So that's fine. Uh, new chain. He's going to get Mirror Jade effect to destroy... No opening in graveyard. I feel like Nesh doesn't play opening. Um, he's gonna go Quem effect, Mirror Sword Nine Negate. Okay. He said big think. So thinking, he's gonna go end of main. So end phase, and then Nesh does just admit defeat there. Yeah, the draw was kind of clutch. Um, he also just had a really good setup, and Nesh's hand was not that good either. Like Albaz, you know, this guy, Brexky, this guy, like it's kind of tough. 
Um, let's see. He does say the GG, and he just ends up leaving the duel. So anyway, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Pure branded synchro. I said pure branded synchro. Branded synchro versus Chimera branded. Uh, this one, this list had a good amount of you know Despia cards. He was playing opening and things, the patchwork. I mean, from the times he didn't search it off of this, I'm assuming this is only at one. So yeah, that's gonna do it for this one. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. No, no.